The torque experienced by a current carrying loop in a magnetic field changes with the angle between the plane of the loop and the magnetic field direction. The torque on the loop is at a maximum when the loop is parallel to the magnetic field and zero when the loop is perpendicular to the magnetic field. If a current carrying loop is initially parallel to the magnetic field, it will rotate until it is perpendicular to the magnetic field. At this point, the momentum of the loop will mean that it continues to rotate past right angles to the magnetic field for some distance. After the loop has passed the point at which it is at right angles to the magnetic field, a torque is produced in the opposite direction, and this torque will act to slow the loop down and then reverse its direction. The loop will again continue past the normal to the magnetic field, and the process will be repeated. The loop will continue to oscillate about the normal to the magnetic field until, eventually, friction in its bearings brings it to rest normal to the magnetic field. In order to continue turning past the normal to the magnetic field, the current direction in the loop would need to be reversed. In a simple direct current electric motor, this is achieved by the commutator. In its simplest form, the commutator is made up of a split ring of conducting material, separated by insulating material, and attached to the axis of the loop or coil, with each side of the ring being attached to one end of the loop or coil, as you can see in the diagram. Two brushes which contact or brush against the commutator are attached to the power supply. As the loop rotates, the split ring rotates with it, and when the loop reaches normal to the magnetic field, the current in the loop is reversed, meaning that the loop continues to rotate. In this diagram of a simple DC electric motor, the loop is shown as a blue line, with circles representing the sides of the loop, a cross represents current into the page, and a dot represents current out of the page. The commutator, shown in orange, is attached to the loop. The brushes, red for positive and black for negative, contact the commutator as it turns with the loop, with forces on the sides of the loop as shown by the green arrows. The loop rotates until it is perpendicular to the magnetic field, and when the loop is perpendicular to the magnetic field, no current flows through the loop, so there is no force on the sides of the loop. When the loop rotates past the vertical, the contacts on the commutator switch, and the side of the split ring that was in contact with the positive brush is now in contact with the negative brush, and vice versa, so the current direction in the loop is opposite to the initial current direction. The force directions on the sides of the loop also reverse, so that the torque on the loop is in the same direction as in the first diagram, and the loop continues to rotate in the same direction, anti-clockwise in this example. In a simple direct current electric motor consisting of a single loop, as is illustrated, the torque rises and falls as the loop turns. This can be overcome by having a number of loops or coils, each having a different orientation, with each loop being switched independently by a more complex commutator. When an electric motor has come up to speed, the average torque is just balanced by a combination of air resistance and friction in the bearings and commutator. The brushes in most electric motors are made from carbon in the form of graphite. Graphite is used as it acts as a lubricant, reducing friction and thus improving the efficiency of the motor. Graphite is also a very good electrical conductor and can withstand high temperatures caused by friction as the split ring rotates. Graphite brushes wear out over time, so they are designed to be easily replaced. In a brushless electric motor, the current switching is achieved electronically. These motors have lower friction and are generally considered to be both more efficient and more reliable as they have fewer wearing parts.